The Bugatti Veyron EB16.4 is a mid-engine sports car, designed and developed by the Volkswagen Group and manufactured in Molsheim, France by Bugatti Automobiles SAS. The Super Sport version of the Veyron is the fastest street-legal production car in the world, with a top speed of 431.072 km per hour. The original version has a top speed of 408.47 km per hour. It was named Car of the Decade by the BBC television programme Top Gear. The standard Bugatti Veyron won Top Gear's Best Car Driven All Year Award in 2005. On April 6, 2013, Bugatti set the record for having the highest top speed of any roadster in the world with the Veyron Grand Sport Vitus, reaching on average a top speed of 408.84 km per hour. The Veyron's chief designer was Hartmut Walkus and the exterior was designed by Jots Kabara of Volkswagen, with much of the engineering work being conducted under the guidance of engineering chief Wolfgang Schreiber. A number of special variants have been produced. In December 2010, Bugatti began offering prospective buyers the ability to customize exterior and interiors colors by using the Veyron 16.4 configurator application on the Mark's official website. Origin of the car in 1998, the Volkswagen Group purchased the trademark rights on the former car manufacturer Bugatti in order to revive the brand. Starting with the Bugatti EB118, they presented at various international auto shows a total of four 18-cylinder concept cars. At the 1999 Tokyo Motor Show, the first study of the Veyron was presented. At the time, the name of the concept car was Bugatti Veyron EB18.4 and it was equipped with a three-bank W18 cylinder engine instead of the two-bank W16 cylinder engine of the production version. While the three previous prototypes had been styled by Giugiaro, the Veyron was designed by the Volkswagen stylists. The decision to start production of the car was taken by the Volkswagen Group in 2001. The first roadworthy prototype was completed in August 2003. It is identical except for a few details to the later series variant. In the development of series production, however, considerable technical problems had to be addressed, so that the start of production was delayed repeatedly, until September 2005. Name origin, the Veyron EB16.4 is named in honor of Pierre Veyron, a Bugatti development engineer, test driver and company race driver who, with co-driver Jean-Pierre Wimmel, won the 1939 24 hours of Le Mans while driving a Bugatti. The EB refers to Bugatti founder Ettore Bugatti and the 16.4 refers to the engine's 16 cylinders and four turbochargers. World record controversy, at the beginning of April 2013, driving.co.uk began an investigation following claims from US car maker Hennessy that its 928 kilowatt Hennessy Venom GT was the new world a Euro unregistered trademark s fastest production car, taking the crown from the Guinness World Record holding Bugatti Veyron Super Sport. With a recorded speed of 427.6 km per hour the Hennessy was 3.4 km per hour slower than the Veyron but Hennessy dismissed Bugatti Euro unregistered trademark s official record saying that the Veyron Super Sport was restricted to 415 km per hour in production form and that for it to achieve its record top speed of 431.0 km per hour, the car used was in a state of tune not available to customers. Hennessy said its Venom GT, on the other hand, was road-ready and unmodified and was therefore a production car in the strict sense of the term. There is also contention about whether the Hennessy Venom GT is in fact a serious production car as it can only be registered for road use in the US as a Lotus Exige. Driving.co.uk requested clarification from Guinness World Records which investigated this claim and found that indeed the modification was against the official guidelines of the record. Upon finding this, Guinness World Records voided the Super Sports record and announced it was reviewing this category with expert external consultants to ensure our records fairly reflect achievements in this field. After further review, SSC, the producers of the Ultimate Aero TT, said that they had reclaimed the record. However Guinness World Records later said they had reinstated the Super Sports record, after coming to the conclusion that a change to the speed limiter does not alter the fundamental design of the car or its engine. 
Bugatti Veyron, specifications and performance. The Veyron features an 8.0-liter, quad-turbocharged, W16-cylinder engine, equivalent to two narrow-angle V8 engines. Each cylinder has four valves for a total of 64, but the VR8 configuration of each bank allows two overhead camshafts to drive two banks of cylinders so only four camshafts are needed. The engine is fed by four turbochargers and displaces 7,993 cubic centimeters, with a square 86 by 86 on bore and stroke. The transmission is a dual-clutch direct shift gearbox computer controlled automatic with seven gear ratios, with magnesium paddles behind the steering wheel and a shift time of less than 150 a milliseconds, built by Ricardo of England rather than Borg Warner, who designed the six-speed DSG used in the mainstream Volkswagen Group marks. The Veyron can be driven in either semi-automatic or fully automatic mode. A replacement transmission for the Veyron costs just over $120,000. It also has permanent all-wheel drive using the Holdex traction system. It uses special Michelin Pax Run flat tires, designed specifically to accommodate the Veyron's top speed, and cost $25,000 per set. The tires can be mounted on the rims only in France, a service which costs $70,000. Curb weight is 1,888 kilograms. This gives the car a power-to-weight ratio, according to Volkswagen Group's figures, of 530 a PS per ton. The car's wheelbase is 2,710 um. Overall length is 4,462 um which gives 1,752.6 um of overhang. The width is 1,998 um and height 1,204 um. The Bugatti Veyron has a total of 10 radiators, 3 heat exchangers for the air to liquid intercoolers, 3 engine radiators, 1 for the air conditioning system, 1 transmission oil radiator, 1 differential oil radiator, 1 engine oil radiator, it has a drag coefficient of a CD equals 0.41 and CD equals 0.36, and a frontal area of 2.07 AM2. This gives it a drag area, the product of drag coefficient and frontal area, of CDA equals 0.74 AM2. Engine output, according to Volkswagen Group and certified by Chor Vizar 1 quarter Deutschland, the final production Veyron engine produces 1,001 metric horsepower of motive power, and generates 1,250 newton meters of torque. The nominal figure has been stated by Bugatti officials to be conservative, with the real total being 1,020 metric horsepower. Top speed, German inspection officials recorded an average top speed of the original version of 408.47 a km per hour during test sessions on the Air Alessian test track on April 19, 2005. This top speed was verified by James May on Top Gear in November 2006 again at Volkswagen Group's private air Alessian test track. May noted that at top speed the engine consumes 45,000 litres of air per minute. The Veyron at the time had the highest top speed of any street legal production car. Back in the Top Gear studio, co-presenter Jeremy Clarkson commented that most supercars felt like they were shaking apart at their top speed, and asked May if that was the case with the Veyron at 4.07 a km per hour. May responded that no, the Veyron was very controlled, and only wobbled a tiny bit when the air brake deployed. The car's everyday top speed is listed at 343 a km per hour. When the car reaches 220 a km per hour, hydraulics lower the car until it has a ground clearance of about 9 cm. At the same time, the wing and spoiler deploy. In this handling mode, the wing provides 3,425 newtons of downforce holding the car to the road. For top speed mode the driver must, while stationary, toggle a special top speed key to the left of the driver's seat. A checklist then establishes whether the car and its driver are ready to attempt to reach 407 a km per hour. If so, the rear spoiler retracts, the front air diffuses shut, and normal 12.5 a cm ground clearance drops to 6.5 a cm. Braking the Veyron's brakes use cross-drilled, 
radially vented carbon fiber reinforced silicon carbide composite discs, manufactured by SGL Carbon, which have a much greater resistance to brake fade when compared with conventional cast iron discs. The lightweight aluminium alloy monoblock brake calipers are made by AP Racing. The fronts have eight titanium pistons and the rear calipers have six pistons. Bugatti claims maximum deceleration of 1.3 AG on road tires. As an added safety feature, in the event of brake failure, an anti-lock braking system has also been installed on the handbrake. Prototypes have been subjected to repeated 1.0 AG braking from 312 km per hour to 80 km per hour without fade. With the car's acceleration from 80 km per hour to 312 km per hour, that test can be performed every 22 seconds. At speeds above 200 km per hour, the rear wing also acts as an air brake, snapping to a 55 degree angle in 0.4 seconds once brakes are applied providing an additional 0.68 AG of deceleration. Bugatti claims the Veyron will break from 400 km per hour to a standstill in less than 10 seconds, though distance covered in this time will be half a kilometer. Specifications, Special Versions Persang, launched on September 11, 2007 at the Frankfurt Motor Show the Persang is a limited run of five cars. They have high-gloss bronze road wheels with a diamond-cut glass-like finish and a clear body finish revealing the Veyron silver oxide finish carbon fiber body, but are otherwise standard. Pegaso, this special edition Veyron was made for a rich Ukrainian living in Dubai. Some reports say that the Pegaso had its power increased from 1,001 APS to 1,200 APS, making it as powerful as a super sport. The Pegaso name comes from a Spanish coach builder that used to build luxury cars, such as the Pegaso Z102. FBG Par Herma S, a Herma S themed model, Herma S monogram on the front grille, road wheels with a single H in the center, and fuel filler door engraved with Bugatti Veyron FBG Par Herma S. The interior is done in Herma S leather with internal door handles reminiscent of handles used on Herma S trunks a Euro and a Herma S wallet and Herma S suitcase is included. Sang Noir, a limited run of 15 cars with an all-black exterior color palette and a bright orange interior. In 2012 Jembala Racing unveiled their Sang Noir wrapped in Jembala blue with glow in the dark lightning flashes to be used as a promotional vehicle for Jembala Racing. Blen Centenaire, a celebratory model unveiled at the 2009 Geneva Motor Show for the 100th anniversary of the Bugatti brand. The entire body is painted in a combination of matte and gloss Bugatti blue, the midsection between the two wings on the hood is expanded, and a chrome strip up the middle added. Bledition Centenaire, the Bugatti Centenaire Villa da Euro unregistered trademark S limited edition is an homage to the golden age of motorsport in the first half of the last century. As such, it is reminiscent of the historic Bugatti Type 35 thoroughbred racing car. Each of the four finishes available symbolizes one of the great European racing nations of the 1920s. Only four cars were made and the four cars have different colors. The drivers from which the La Euro unregistered trademark edition Centenaire was inspired are, Jean-Pierre Wimmel from France, two-tone blue and silver color, Achille Vegi from Italy, two-tone red and silver color, Malcolm Campbell from UK, two-tone green and silver color. Prince Hermann Zulieningen from Germany, two-tone beige and silver color, Sangda Euro unregistered trademark argent, first shown at the 2009 Dubai Motor Show, this one off is finished in matte silver and polished aluminium. It was inspired by the two-tone finish of the centenary Villa da Euro unregistered trademark Est cars and the previous Persang edition. The car was sold for 2.1 million US dollars. Nocturne also at the 2009 Dubai Motor Show, the car was unique because of its galvanized side windows. This Veyron is distinguished by its polished aluminum line that starts at the front of the vehicle and finishes with the wide rear arches. The rest of the vehicle is coated in honor black. Inside, it has a dark magnesium dashboard and a galvanized platinum center console. Just five were produced, exclusively for the Middle East for an even higher price of 2.4 million US dollars. As the standard Veyron 16.4 sold out in 2011, 
This was the last special edition for the normal Veyrons. Bugatti Veyron 16.4 Grand Sport, it is a limited target top version of Bugatti Veyron EB 16.4. The model has extensive reinforcements to compensate for the lack of standard roof, and small changes to the windshield and running lights. There are two removable tops, the second a temporary roof fashioned after an umbrella. The top speed with a hard top in place is the same as the standard Cooper copyright version, but with a roof down is limited to 369 a km per hectare euro, and to 130 a km per hour with a temporary soft roof. The vehicle was unveiled at 2008 Pebble Beach Conquer Dugans, followed by Qatar Motor Show 2012, seats in yellow colored leather upholstery with black stitching, middle console in black carbon, dashboard, steering wheel and gear shift made of black leather with yellow stitching. Production began in the second quarter of 2009. The standard version costs a 1.4 million, while the Qatar Motor Show 2012 car costs a 1.58 million. Special versions, Sang Blue, blue carbon fiber with polished aluminium, wheels inspired by the Grand Sport Roadster, highlighted in a midnight blue and diamond cut two-tone finish. Solil de Nuit, exclusively for the Middle East, the Solil de Nuit was unveiled at the 2009 Dubai Motor Show. It combines polished aluminium accents with metallic blue-black paint. It also features a burnt orange interior. It was sold for 2.27 million US dollars. Grey Carbon, the Grey Carbon was first shown to the public at the 2010 Geneva Motor Show. The exterior features exposed carbon fiber with metallic dark grey aluminum body panels, and lower portion in polished aluminium. Only one Gram Sport Grey Carbon edition was made. Royal Dark Blue, like the Grey Carbon, the Royal Dark Blue was a show car at Geneva 2010. It features a carbon for the monocoque and the bonnet and rear section finished in royal dark blue, hence the name. The rest of the car is painted arctic white. It sold for a 1.75 million. Sang Blanc, this car was designed at the request of a client from the UK. It is finished in a matte pearl scent white with black front grille, exhaust and engine cover, as well as a black interior. In 2011, Derbyshire-based exotic car dealer Tom Hartley sold the Sang Blanc, with 448 miles on the odometer, for Gbar £1.25 million. Pounds. On August 25, 2012, the Sang Blanc was involved in a crash near to mandelieu la napoule France. The front right fender and the right headlight sustained some damage. Bijan Pax Ad Edition Just before unexpectedly passing away due to a stroke, the Iranian-born fashion designer Bijan Paxad collaborated with Bugatti to design this one off Veyron. The car features a unique yellow and black color scheme. It also features a lot of decals, like the handwritten look a Euro Bijan a Euro unregistered trademark logo on the underside of the rear wing. It is currently parked outside of the house of Bijan Boutique on Rodeo Drive. Matt White, first shown at the 2011 Shanghai Auto Show. The matte white, as its name suggests, features a matte white paint finish, with the lower section of the car finished in blue carbon fiber. The interior is also blue. It was sold soon after it was put on display. LeBlanc, teaming up with car paragraph Nigleich Porcelain Manufacture, Bugatti created the one-off Veyron LeBlanc. Its name means white gold, and the special Grand Sport uses porcelain to distinguish its body and interior with a blue and white pattern. Red Edition, shown at the 2011 Frankfurt Motor Show, this special edition features the whole car painted red. Even the wheels were painted red. It is thought Bugatti brought this car to Frankfurt to speed up purchases of the Grand Sport, as the sales figure was disappointingly low. Middle East Editions, three different a Euro Middle East Edition a Euro unregistered trademark cars were unveiled at the 2011 Dubai Motor Show. The first car combines a bright yellow exterior and interior with black carbon fiber inserts and black wheels. The second has a blue carbon framed exterior with polished aluminium and an orange interior. The final edition features a green carbon finish, once again framed with polished aluminium. The yellow model sold for a 1.58 million, while the other two were sold for a 1.74 million. We long. 
first shown at the 2012 Beijing Auto Show, the Wee Long was built by Bugatti to commemorate the Chinese Year of the Dragon. It was developed alongside car paragraph Nikolaj Porcelain Manufacturer, the same firm responsible for the Veyron Le Blanc, who fitted several high-quality porcelain motifs. Most of the pieces depict a dragon and are featured on the body and in the cabin, endowing the car with deep Chinese cultural heritage. Some locations include on the surface of the oil and fuel filler cap. Other details include a pearl white exterior with contrasting carmine red interior, headrests embroidered with the Chinese a Euro OE dragon a Euro character, and handcrafted pure silk floor mats embossed with more dragon logos. It was sold for a 1.58 million. Berna Venet, in 2012. Bugatti invited Berna Venet to create a one-off artwork to be applied to a Veyron Grand Sport. The finished work, described as the fastest artwork ever, features an interpretation of Venet's trademark mathematical equations and was revealed at the Rubel Family Collection in Miami during Art Basel Miami Beach. Production, the chassis 001 of the 2009 Bugatti Veyron 16.4 Grand Sport was sold at the 58th annual Pebble Beach auction presented by Gooding & Company for 2.9 million US dollars, benefiting the Pebble Beach Company Foundation. Bugatti Veyron 16.4 Super Sport, World Record Edition The Bugatti Veyron 16.4 Super Sport is a limited version of the Bugatti Veyron 16.4 with increased engine power of 1,200 PS and torque of 1,500 Nm, a revised aerodynamic package. It has a 431.072 km per hour top speed, making it the fastest production road car in production although it is electronically limited to 415 km per hour to protect the tires from disintegrating. The Bugatti Veyron 16.4 Super Sport World Record Edition is a limited of the Bugatti Veyron 16.4 Super Sport with special black exposed carbon body and orange body color. The vehicle was unveiled in 2010 The Quail, followed by 2010 Monterey Historic Races at Laguna Seca, 2010 Pebble Beach Conquer Dielgans. The Super Sport is valued at bar £1.7 million. Special versions, Sang Noir, introduced for customers who did not like the look of the A Euro World Record Edition A Euro Unregistered Trademark, the Sang Noir was a show car at the 2011 Geneva Motor Show. The car is finished entirely in black, except for the interior, which is bright tangerine orange. The car costs a very high 3.4 million US dollars, 1 million US dollars more than a standard super sport. Black Carbon, first shown at the 2011 Shanghai Auto Show, the Black Carbon was built for a customer in China. This car is finished in a black clear coat, revealing the carbon fiber body. The black exterior is combined with snow beige, and beluga black. Edition Mervilla, unveiled in December 2011, the Edition Mervilla was presented by Bugatti to a car collector from China known only as Simon, commemorating the 40th birthday of the buyer. In a video released by Bugatti, featuring a number of Bugatti Euro unregistered trademark S Top X6 including CEO Wolfgang Da One Quarter Ima, they wish Simon a happy 40th birthday. The edition Mervilla features an unpainted carbon fiber exterior with matching blacked out alloy wheels and a bright blue interior. It is the first super sport in the Chinese market. Le Cifre Bleu, in early September 2012, a super sport with the same exterior design as the Le Blanc was seen driving around Molchim. It is believed to be called Le Cifre Bleu. Per Blanc. In late September 2012, a per blank Super Sport was built for a customer in Boston, Massachusetts. The per blank edition takes its name from the French for pure white, but actually has a fair bit of exposed black carbon fiber thrown in for good measure. Motorsports, on July 4, 2010 James May, a television presenter on BBC Two's television show Top Gear, drove the Veyron Super Sport at 417 km per hour. Later that day, Bugatti's official test driver Pierre-Henri Raffarnel drove the Super Sport version of the Veyron on Volkswagen's Air Elysian high-speed test track to establish the car's top speed. With representatives of the Guinness Book of Records and German Technical Inspection Agency on hand, 
Rafanel made passes around the big oval in both directions achieving an average maximum speed of 431.072 km per hour, thus taking back the title from the SSC Ultimate Aero TT as the fastest production vehicle of all time. The 431.072 km per hour mark was reached by averaging the Super Sports 2 test runs, the first reaching 427.93 km per hour and the second 434.20 km per hour. On April 9, 2013 the title of fastest production car in the world was revoked due to the deactivation of the electronic speed limiter which makes the car non-stock, going against the rules of the title. Later, Bugatti Euro unregistered trademark S speed record has been restored. Following a thorough review conducted with a number of external experts, Guinness World Records is pleased to announce the confirmation of Bugatti Euro unregistered trademark S record of fastest production car achieved by the Veyron 16.4 Super Sport. The focus of the review was with respect to what may constitute a modification to a car a Euro unregistered trademark S standard specification. Having evaluated all the necessary information, Guinness World Records is now satisfied that a change to the speed limiter does not alter the fundamental design of the car or its engine. Grand Sport Vitus Bugatti Veyron 16.4 Grand Sport Vitus is a version of the Grand Sport with a Super Sport engine. It produces a maximum output of 1,200 PS at 6,400 RPMs and a maximum torque of 1,500 Nm at 3,000 to 5,000 RPMs. These figures allow the car to reach 100 km per hour from standing in 2.6 seconds. On normal roads, the Vitus is electronically limited to 375 km per hour. The vehicle was unveiled at the 2012 Geneva Motor Show Shimmer in an almost bronze shade depending on how the light falls, side parts right up to the rear air intakes made from polished aluminium, gaucho-colored interior leather upholstery with dark stitching, followed by 2012 Beijing Auto Show, Zar Poundo Paulo Motor Show 2012. Base price of the Vitus costs a 1.69 million with the 2012 Geneva Motor Show car costs a 1.79 million, Zar Poundo Paulo Motor Show 2012 car costs a 1.9 million. Special Edition Bugatti Veyron 16.4 Grand Sport Vitus It is a version of Bugatti Veyron 16.4 Grand Sport Vitus inspired by Bugatti Type 37A, with upper area of the body in Bianco color, lower body panels, inner surfaces of the wheel rims the underside of the automatically extending rear spoiler in new light blue. A noble cognac leather interior upholstery, contrasting new light blue stitching, blue accents in the door handles and map pockets. The vehicle was unveiled in 2012 the Quail, a motor sports gathering, and was sold for a 1.74 million. The 16.4 Super Sports top speed is registered around 260-265 mph. Grand Sport Vitus World Record Car Edition, the World Record Car Edition is a limited version of Bugatti Veyron 16.4 Grand Sport Vitus, with dual color scheme in black and orange, including orange vinyls around the headlights and grille, orange rims and interior. The vehicle was unveiled in Shanghai Motor Show 2013, and went on sale for a 1.99 million. Bugatti legend Jean-Pierre Wimmel it is a limited version of Bugatti Veyron 16.4 Grand Sport Vitus inspired by 1937 blue Bugatti 57G Tanko piloted by Robert Binnest, with blue clear-coated carbon fiber body and a light whim of blue paintwork finish. The vehicle was unveiled in 2013 Monterey Auto Week, followed by 2013 The Quail, a motor sports gathering, 2013 Pebble Beach Conquer Dugans. Jean Bugatti Vitus Legend Edition, it is a limited version of Bugatti Veyron 16.4 Grand Sport Vitus inspired by Bugatti Type 57 SC Atlantic, with jet black, clear-coated carbon fiber body. Arctic gray signature of Jean Bugatti acid under the petrol and oil cap, beige and brown leather upholstery from Type 57 SC Atlantic, seats, instrument panel, steering wheel, dash panel, center console door trim panels and windscreen cross member in chocolate brown. Leather upholstery in a light beige silk color across the extended center console, footwell, 
the outer door trim panels and the handle recesses. Type 57 SC embroidery on the doors and the cover of the rear storage compartment with beige silk thread stitching, EB logo styled in gleaming platinum, selector lever in rosewood, a lever insert embossed with the lettering Les La Copyright Gendis de Bugatti in the extended section of the center console, and door sill plate displaying the likeness and signature of Jean Bugatti. The vehicle was unveiled at the September 2013 Frankfurt Motor Show. Lang Lang's Veyron Vitus, it is a version of Bugatti Veyron's 16.4 Grand Sport Vitus built for concert pianist Lang Lang, inspired by a piano keyboard. It included black and white body colors, white leather embroidered with black stitching to mimic sheet music, gold plating on the steering wheel, wheel hubs and fuel cap. Lang Lang's signature at the center console with a gold marker. The vehicle was unveiled at Chateau Street Jean. Vitus legend Mio Costantini, it is a limited version of Bugatti Veyron's 16.4 Grand Sport Vitus dedicated to Mio Costantini, with body primarily constructed of carbon fiber, wings, doors, the parts behind the doors, the mid -A lens, and corners of the front bumper and hand polished aluminium with clear lacquer. Bugatti dark blue sport body color on the carbon fiber parts. Silhouette of the Targa Florio race course on the underside of the rear wing and Bugatti Dark Blue Sport, Mio Costantini's signature laser engraved into the aluminium tank and oil caps and painted in silver, leather interior upholstery, roof, footwell, center sections of the seats and rear in the color gaucho. Seat side cushions, armrests, extended center console, door panels, dash panel. Instrument panel and steering wheel trimmed in dark blue leather in the late blue color. Decorative stitching in contrasting light blue, head restraints embroidered with Mio Costantini's signature in Bugatti light blue sport, cover of the rear center box with silhouette of the Targa Florio race route in a milled and polished aluminium relief attached directly below the EB logo on the cover, with EB logo made from dark blue clear coated carbon fiber. Racing scenes illustrating Mio Costantini's racing career in 1920s and vintage car motifs laser engraved into the leather trim on the doors, interior trim of the door pockets and door handle recesses in Bugatti light blue sport, inlay in the extended section of the center console in clear coated carbon fiber with the legend logo and Bugatti elephant, door sill strips displaying the likeness and signature of Mio Costantini. The vehicle was unveiled in 2013 Dubai International Motor Show. Motorsports A Bugatti Veyron 16.4 Grand Sport Vitus driven by the Chinese racing driver Anthony Liu at Volkswagen Group's Proving Grounds in Air Alessian became the fastest open-top production sports car, with speed of 408.84 km per hour. The vehicle was unveiled in Shanghai Motor Show 2013. After the world record attempt, Dr. Wolfgang Schreiber, President of Bugatti Automobiles SAS, said a Euro OE when we introduced the Vitus, we established the top speed for open top driving to be 375 km per hour. Still, we could not let go of the idea of reaching the 400 km per hour mark with this car as well. The fact that we have succeeded in reaching 408.84 km per hour is a thrill for me and it reaffirms once again that Bugatti is the leader when it comes to technology in the international automotive industry. The driver, Anthony Liu, claimed even at such high speeds it remained incredibly comfortable and stable. With an open top, you can really experience the sound of the engine and yet even at higher speeds I did not get compromised by the wind at all a Euro future development, in 2008. Bugatti then CEO Dr. Franz Josef van Eijen confirmed that the Veyron would be replaced by another high end model by 2012. In 2011, the new CEO Wolfgang da One Quarter Ima revealed that the company was planning to produce two models in the future a Euro 1 a sports car successor to the Veyron, the other a limousine known as the Calibia. In September 2013, Bugatti announced that it would be dropping the Calibia project to focus solely on the successor to the Veyron. In 2014 Dr. Schreiber said that the next Veyron will have no more power and no higher top speed than the current model. Sales Commentary, Top Gear, all three presenters of the popular BBC motoring show Top Gear have given the Veyron considerable praise. While initially skeptical that the Veyron would ever be produced, 
Jeremy Clarkson later declared the Veyron the greatest car ever made and the greatest car we will ever see in our lifetime. He also pointed out that the actual production cost of a Bugatti Veyron car was 5 million British pounds, but was sold to customers for just 1 million. When asked why, he jokingly said that Volkswagen designed the car merely as a technical exercise. James May described the Veyron as our Concorde moment. Clarkson test drove the Veyron from Alba in northern Italy to London in a race against May and Richard Hammond who made the journey in a Cessna 182 aeroplane. A few episodes later, May drove the Veyron at the VW test track and took it to its top speed of 407.16 km per hour. In Series 10, Hammond raced the Veyron against the Eurofighter Typhoon and lost. He also raced the car in Series 13 against a McLaren F1 driven by the Stig in a one-mile drag race in Abu Dhabi. The commentary focused on Bugatti's amazing technical achievement, versus the non-gizmo racing purity of the F1. While the F1 was quicker off the line and remained ahead until both cars were traveling at approximately 200 a km per hour, the Bugatti overtook its competitor from 200 to 300 a km per hour and emerged the victor. Hammond has stated that he did not use the Veyron's launch control in order to make the race more interesting. The Veyron also won the award for Car of the Decade in Top Gear's End of 2010 award show. Clarkson commented it was a car that just rewrote the rule book really, an amazing piece of engineering, a genuine Concorde moment. When the standard version was tested, it did not reach the top of the lap time leaderboard, with a time of 1, 18.3 which was speculated as being due to the car's considerable weight disadvantage against the other cars towards the top. The Super Sport version, driven by the Stig, achieved the fastest ever time of 1, 16.8, as well as being taken to an average top speed of 431 km per hour by Rafanel on the program, thenceforth retaking its position as the fastest production car in the world. Martin Roach, in 2011, Martin Roach's book Bugatti Veyron, A Quest for Perfection A Euro The Story of the Greatest Car in the World took the stance that the car had now become so famous that it is effectively a bona fide celebrity. The book follows its author as he attempts to track down and drive the car, along the way interviewing chief designers, test drivers, and the president of Bugatti. Gordon Murray, Gordon Murray, designer of the McLaren F1 said the following about the Bugatti Veyron in UK auto magazine Evo during its development period. The most pointless exercise on the planet has got to be this four-wheel drive thousand horsepower Bugatti. I think it's incredibly childish this thing people have about just one element, top speed or standing kilometer or zero a euro sixty. It's about as narrow-minded as you can get as a car designer to pick on one element. It's like saying we're going to beat the original Mini because we're going to make a car 10 miles per hour faster on its top speed, but it's 12 a foot longer and 200 kilos heavier. That's not car designing, that just reeks of a company who are paranoid. Murray later brought up and criticized Volkswagen for scamming car buyers in the 1990s for buying the cheapest parts possible for the production of Jettas and Golfs, allowing Volkswagen to make a larger profit off their car sales funding the construction of the Bugatti Veyron. However, Murray was impressed with the Veyron's engine and transmission after he test drove one for Road and Track magazine. See also, List of Fastest Production Cars, Thrust SSC, Holder of the World Land Speed Record, References External links, Official Website